Hi, I'm Christopher Barrow, and this is my wife, Darcy Barrow, and we are Foundation Rentals and Relocation. Today, we are going to answer the question about whether or not a landlord should consider allowing pets in their rental property. So if you're allergic to pets, the answer is clearly no. Um, you don't want to move back into your property and, and all of a sudden have a severe allergy. That said, if you are looking to maximize your ROI, you should absolutely consider a very well-qualified applicant who may come with a pet. You also don't want to alienate anybody. So uh, some statistics do show that 60% of all households have pets. So this is a great, great way to broaden your net to, for potential prospects for your property. Statistics also show that households with pets tend to move less frequently. So it can mean that a tenant will stay in your property longer and reduce your turnover costs. Now you can set reasonable limits for pets, size, breed, pet, uh, cat, dog, whatever. Um, so you can definitely exercise some discretion when qualifying people. You can also consider charging a pet rent. Pet rents in Marin County range anywhere from $25 per month per pet upwards of $95 per month per pet. So it can be a nice way to increase your bottom line as well. And if you do consider a pet, make sure you take the maximum allowable security deposit you can. In California, that's two times the monthly rent. Also, if you're considering taking a pet, be absolutely certain you check the references. You want to hear not only from the most current landlord reference, but from the previous one as well. Again, I'm Christopher Barrow. This is Darcy Barrow, and we're Foundation Rentals and Relocation. Thanks for watching.